So hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Verilog in five minutes. In this video, we'll talk about enumeration. This code has two int a and b, and they are both set to zero. Imagine this is a legit piece of code, and there is a meeting to discuss about it. You are in the meeting, and somebody suggests a change. One says that the color should be green, and another says that the mode should be night. And then they turn to you to make the change. You understand everything they said, but when you read the code, you could not map to their suggestion. Well, this is literally one of the leading problems in many code nowadays, code that does not represent its intention. A better code would have been like this. The two variables are named color and mode, at least now you can map the code to the discussion. But still, there is another problem. What is color value 0 and what is mode value 0? One way to resolve the meaning of a value is to use parameter to represent the values. In this code, you can easily understand that red is 0 and green is 1, and day is 0 and night is 1. However, there is still a possible problem here. For example, color can be set to day, which is confusing, but it works because red and day are both 0. Now, System Rarelog introduces a new syntax to resolve all these problems. It is called enumeration or simply enum. In this code, color is an int and can only take on value red and green. Mode is also an int and can only take on value day and night. And in case you cannot recognize this syntax, remember that the first part is a type and the second part is a variable. Let's look into the meaning of the syntax. This is the simplest way to introduce an enum. It is the same as introducing an int variable called color. This is a bad code because RGB are vague names. We should use clearer names like red, green, and blue. But we'll use RGB to save space and time. This is a fuller form of writing the same code. By default, enum is an int, and by default, r is 0, g is 1, and b is 2. If you want a smaller size variable, you can replace it, for example, with 2 bits here. If you want r to be other value, you can override it, for example, with 1. g, which is not overridden, will be 2, and b is 3. You can also override it in such a manner where r is default 0 and g is 2. While this is allowed, I would advise you either not to override them or to override them all like this. Now let's look at its usage. This is one way of declaring variables. You may think you can do the same with enum, but you cannot. That's because the enum values are being redefined here, and that is illegal. The way to overcome this is by using type def. In this case, the enum is shorthanded to e color, and you can use e color anywhere. This is a simple example of using enum. You can set color to the value red. You may think this is the same by setting color to zero. Well, you're right conceptually, but this is not allowed. Enum can only take on values in its defined, in this case, red and green. It cannot take the value 0 or 1, even though red and green are practically 0 and 1. But if you insist on using the value 0, you can use the system function cast. Cast would execute the assignment if the types are compliant. It will fail if you cast an illegal number, like in this case, 2. We can have multiple enum variables, but we cannot mix and match them. For example, color can take on value red, but it cannot take on value day, even though they both are zero. Enum variable has some built-in functions. You can access the functions by using dot operator. For example, there is a function called first, which gives you the first value. In this case, it is red. This is the same as setting color to red directly. There is also a next function. Color is now red, so the next value would be green. If you call it again, color by now is green, there is no next value, it will loop back to its first one which is red. Similarly, there is a function last which will give you green in this case. There is also a function called name which will give you the name of the value. You can print it out in the message. This will print color equals 1, comma green. In summary, enum is a very useful variable to improve code readability. Alright, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Do support by clicking like, share, and subscribe.